everyone, I'm Maki Strom. Today's program contains spoilers for the movie Gundam Seed Freedom. If you want to watch the movie without any prior information, we recommend that you skip this program. We've got some big news this time. It's very likely that the production of a new Annie in the Seed series has begun. Let's analyze the photo released by director Mitsuo Fukuda on X. Are you ready? Hit the subscribe button and activate Gian Strong. Campus quarter, condition ready shield. Mr. Fukuda's comment is very brief. Snack time. I'm eating strawberry flavored snacks released in cooperation with the candy manufacturer and seed freedom. Behind it, there's a piece of paper that looks quite intriguing. This is probably a document called Storyboards of Preparatory Stage Material for Ami. It outlines what scenes will take place, what events will unfold in them, and how many seconds each scene will last. On top of this paper is probably a document detailing the content of the story. You can see the names Agnes and Leonard written on it. Agnes refers to Agnes Guinness, who appeared in the movie. And Leonard is her lover, her boyfriend before she joined Compass. What's written here differs from the movie bonus novel I got. Only a small part of the text is visible. Leonard seems very cold towards Agnes. Words like unfortunate and desire can be seen in Leonard's lines. Agnes uses the influence of her parents, poor high-ranking government officials, to fulfill Leonard's strong wish. His wish is to pilot freedom at least once. She then becomes a pilot in the mission led by Isaac due to bring the new freedom and justice to Compass. In the movie, an incident known as the Freedom Hijacking Incident is mentioned by Kagori Yuer after a few months before battle with the Foundation. This incident, in which Yu Shenlong's piloted Black Knight Squad ruler destroys the strike Freedom and resolves the situation, is shown through Shinas' flashback. It seems that the Freedom Hijacking Incident has officially begun production as an Ani. It was revealed that Agnes suffered a terrible betrayal from Leonard. It's likely that Leonard was part of the operational unit in the Freedom Hijacking Incident. It's natural to assume that Leonard's revenge was exploited, driven by the death of his family at the hands of the Requiem used by Logos. The story will also show why Agnes volunteered to join Compass. The Freedom Hijacking Incident, where Strike Freedom is stolen by the enemy may also be a turning point, where Agnes develops feelings for Kira. In the Gundam series, it's common for mobile suits that are like siblings to face each other. We may see a showdown between Strike Freedom and Rising Freedom. It will also show how Shinasu recovers from the emotional wounds she suffered in the final battle of Sea Destiny. It's very exciting. And the Mr. Fuku Dosix, materials related to the characterization of Agnes were released. The initial settings written by Chiaki Morosawa, who was in charge of the script, were revealed. Mr. Fukuda mentioned that the content may differ slightly from the final version used in the movie. He also mentioned that some of the content is partially hidden. It might be related to the new anime being produced. A lot of information was released, let's check it out. Agnes Guinness, 18 years old. A second generation female coordinator. Any man would fall in love with me. A person who was Shin and Luna Maria's classmate at the Zaft Military Academy. In the movie, she is a former Zaft Red pilot. During the Academy, she had higher grades than Luna Maria and of course, was more excellent than Shin. 
She was second in rank only to Wazo Burrow, the top student. The daughter of high-ranking front government officials, her parents are followers of Patrick Zorer. After graduating from the academy, she was assigned to the Lunar Orbit Fleet. During the late stages of the war that broke out in Sea Destiny, she shut down many Earth's Alliance mobile suits. Fortunately for Agnes, she never encountered the ace pilots of the Phantom Pain's Enhanced Human Squad or the Archangel's mobile suit team. With her considerable skills and glamorous beauty, she was used by the military as a publicity stunt. It was during this time that she was given the nickname Valkyrie of the Moonlight. Treated almost as an idol, she rarely faced dangerous battlefields, resulting in limited experience. Agnes is overly confident, believing in her superior skills and beauty. She has a personality that constantly seeks to prove and feel her own worth, making her self-centered. Men, who are not familiar with her character, find her very popular. Agnes is extremely cold to those in whom she has no interest. On the other hand, she is proactive with those she targets as romantic interests. She can, of course, play the personality or appearance desired by her partner, displaying an ability similar to the mimicry of wild animals. Here, the text is omitted. Of course, if Kira is the target, she can appear as the woman Kira desires. Again, it's noted that the text is omitted. Because Agnes has spent a long time playing the role of the woman her partner desires, few people know her true personality. What she wants and wants to do remains unclear. She rarely expresses her true feelings and does not understand herself well. She rarely analyzes herself objectively. People who seek social status or validation often lack self-confidence or are afraid of losing it. She is likely to fall into this category. She is unusually wary of having her value destroyed. Thus she views those who threaten her as those who do not recognize her worth. She exploited such feelings in Agnes to recruit her into the Foundation Kingdom's army. Agnes has high superficial communication skills and is often favored by older men. As a result, she is highly regarded by her military superiors. Conversely, she is disliked by her female colleagues. Even among friends, she seeks out those who mark her own value. Agnes believes that her beauty surpasses that of Laura's crying. She does not hesitate to use her feminine charms to achieve her goals, but she never cheapens herself. As a result, she has surprisingly little romantic experience. In fact, her ability to judge a man's attractiveness is low. Such characteristics lead Agnes to steer her life in an unfavorable direction. Agnes is not the type to maliciously take advantage of others. It is done almost unconsciously. She has behaved in such a way that men who approach her develop romantic feelings, which she uses to her advantage. She takes such treatment for granted, having benefited from it since her days at the academy. Taking other people's lovers seems like a hobby to her. She has even taken Luna Maria's lover before, only to abandon him shortly thereafter. On the other hand, there were times when Agnes was abandoned by her lover. She has also made advances to raise a burrow in an attempt to arouse romantic interest. However, Wei has shown no interest in Agnes. Agnes thinks Ray is a strange person whose thoughts are unclear. She had absolutely no interest in the childish Shinosuka. During her time at the academy, she admired Asrandar. 
Athran was Agnes' ultimate goal. Since Athran's colleagues were also skilled pilots, they were also targets for Agnes. However, Athran defected Nico died in battle, and there were rumors that Isaac detested women and seemed to have a frightening personality, so the text is omitted here. Agnes considers Luna Maria a person of moderate value. Agnes thinks she has a good relationship with Luna Maria, but Luna Maria does not think so. Luna Maria also had great pride during her academy days and shared similar values with Agnes. When Agnes reunited with Luna Maria, she was in a relationship with Shin. Surprised Agnes asked seriously have you given up on life? Shin also considers Agnes to be a difficult personality. His motivation for joining campus was his belief that it was the most elite unit that would rule the world. She wanted to significantly increase her own value by joining the campus. She thinks it would be wonderful to become Kiyo Yamato's lover. However, no matter how hard she tries, she cannot achieve good results. The reason for not achieving good results lies in Agnes' personality. She always believes that someone or something other than herself is to blame. She thinks that she can achieve great military success if she pilots the Modo Justice Gunnam. Therefore, she is looking for a way to take over justice from Shen. In the final battle of the story, she accompanies Shur, who recognizes her value and betrays Compass. Bio and other crew members of the battleship Millennium consider Agnes a very competent and motivated good person. This is the attitude of Agnes by Miss Morosawa. In fact, there are some differences between what is told in the movie and the bonus novel. For example, in the bonus novel, there is a scene where Luna Maria acknowledges Shin's efforts. She says even if it looks uncool to others, the act of constantly challenging yourself to grow is commendable. Agnes seems to have many active scenes in the newly produced Annie as well. Let's look forward to the expanding world of the Seed series. See you in the next program.